What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you a very exciting movie review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Never in nearly four years did I think we would get to this moment in cinema history. That is right guys, I am finally bringing you guys my review for the highly anticipated film that is... Zack Snyder's Justice League. Starring everyone's favorite members from the Justice League, you got Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Ray Fisher, Jason Momoa, and Ezra Miller. So the plot line to Zack Snyder's Justice League is the same exact plot as the 2017 theatrical cut of Justice League. The Justice League have to come together. Batman and Wonder Woman have to recruit Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman. They have to resurrect Superman with the Mother Box because Steppenwolf and the Parademons have come to Earth to claim the three Mother Boxes and Darkseid as well is thrown into the mix if you've been living under a rock. Zack Snyder, as you all know, had to step down after the final stages of directing the Justice League because his daughter did commit suicide, and so Warner Brothers hired Joss Whedon to step in for him to finish his preferred version. Joss Whedon led reshoots and completely took out Zack Snyder's vision in all of his shot scenes and made it a completely different movie. And so the past four years, everybody started this movement, the hashtag release the Snyder Cut movement, and the movement was this loud enough that Warner Brothers decided to put it on HBO Max and have it come out this year. Now I, like many of you, absolutely hated the 2017 theatrical cut of Justice League. That movie is now going to go in my trash after I saw this movie. So the number one question is, is the Snyder Cut great? Is it far superior to the theatrical cut? Or is it even worse? The answer to that question is, guys, this is by far leagues better than the theatrical cut. Zack Snyder's Justice League was everything I wanted it to be and more. I mean, I wasn't over the moon excited for it, but I was definitely interested in seeing it. Seeing Zack Snyder's vision come to reality. They extended scenes, you spent more time with these characters, you got to know characters we didn't know from previous films, which we'll talk about, and it just was an all-around better film. Everything about the Snyder Cut, every single element is better than the 2017 theatrical cut. By far the most developed character in the film is Cyborg, Ray Fisher. They completely took out his backstory in the theatrical cut. And to see the character of Cyborg, his origin story come to fruition, is very satisfying. He's the heart and soul of the film. You see his backstory of how he got in the car crash with his mother and his father. Like, all the scenes we did not see with Cyborg and his dad. And you get to see everything that wasn't in the theatrical cut. And they changed his character all the way around. He did a lot of stuff in this film, and he was my favorite part of the film. And now I want a cyborg movie, because what Joss Whedon did with Ray Fisher stuff, you could see all the Ray Fisher, Joss Whedon beef, like, it's understandable. Another character that is fleshed out more in here compared to the theatrical cut is The Flash. Ezra Miller, now separate art from the artist, I'm not going to talk about the personal Ezra Miller stuff going on, but The Flash was one of my least favorite characters in Joss Whedon's Justice League. They didn't do anything with The Flash, all he did was save this random family, which is not in this movie, thank god. He plays a lot of important roles, he's a big part to the team, and makes a lot of sacrificial choices. And he's a very human character. He gets involved and he doesn't throw out snarky jokes that aren't funny every time in time. They also dived into Aquaman a lot more, especially the relationship between him and Diana. Because you got Atlantis and Themyscira, they dive into that. And of course you got our main Justice League characters with Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. Batman gets a lot of those cool elements that you saw in previous DCU installments, but out of the main Justice League, Batman would be at the bottom of the barrel in terms of like new scenes, except for the nightmare sequence, which is at the end of the film, spoilers. 
But I do think Ben Affleck does a great job in here once again. Wonder Woman gets a lot of emotional, impactful scenes as well, which we saw in some previous trailers. Loved a lot of her fight scenes as always. But let's talk about Superman. Because as we know, a lot of the flaws that came from the theatrical cut had to do with the CGI upper lip, of course. But that was my least of my concerns. It was how they betrayed Superman. After his resurrection, he was wearing his red suit, but the change in here is his black suit. He's black suit Superman now, and this is by far the best that I have seen from Henry Cavill as Superman. The way they dive into Superman in here was beyond epic and fantastic. A lot of fan service moments happen in the third act with Superman whenever that theme plays and how they develop the character of Clark Kent even more, I kind of got emotional because you see his exchanges with Lois Lane in the film, and they dive into more personal stuff. Once again, we did not get in the theatrical cut. One of my biggest issues by far in the theatrical cut was Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf was just a very forgettable CGI, a horribly looking villain. But in here, Steppenwolf looks a lot better. The CGI looks so good. The armor he wears looks badass. And they changed his voice. It made it a lot deeper. He actually does sound like a dark wolf. He actually does sound like a wolf. They gave you reasons why Steppenwolf is doing what he's doing. He's basically Darkseid's puppet. He's doing what Darkseid would do. He's collecting the mother boxes because of a debt or something. That is so interesting. Now, Darkseid was the biggest reveal of a character we did not get in Joss Whedon's vision, but in Zack Snyder's vision, Darkseid was in it. And having Darkseid behind the shadows just made it a lot more suspenseful and creepy. And the visual design for Darkseid looks fantastic. He really does look like an intimidating presence. And hopefully we do get Darkseid in the future if they do a sequel to Justice League. The film is four hours long and I completely understand if people are going to say that this runtime is way too long. And I did feel the runtime in certain aspects, but they give you time with each and every single scene and it gives you payoff by the end of the film. The way Zack Snyder directs this film it's probably his best directed job in the DCU by far. He gives you a very compelling story, characters you can get behind, development with them, and so when they come together and kick ass, it's well earned because you care about why they're there. And by far an issue that they changed in here compared to the theatrical cut is the final battle. Remember the final battle, it looked all red, like when the Justice League were going to fight off against Steppenwolf, that whole city looked very red. They changed it up completely here. It looks so much better. And the action was so much better. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Zack Snyder's Justice League, if this is your guys' first time on the channel and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this movie, definitely hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. And consider clicking that subscribe button I talk all kinds of movie content on here, especially new movies every single week, ranking videos, Blu-ray hauls at the end of the month. I talk tons of movie content. I also do live Q&As with my subscribers every so often. If you want to be a part of the community, hit the like and subscribe button and let's talk movies. So my final thoughts on Zack Snyder's Justice League, the campaign and the release the Snyder Cut movement paid off because it is a far superior film to that theatrical cut, it is fantastic. It might possibly be one of the best DCU films we've had. To this date, the score is absolutely phenomenal, like I forgot to mention. Every single moment is well earned, every character gets their moment, and it, I just cared. Like, I did not think this movie would pay out the way it has. And it paid off in every way. On my rating scale, I am going to give Zack Snyder's Justice League an A. Now I think it is safe to say, let's do this. Get out of here! Anyway, guys, that is my thoughts on Zack Snyder's Justice League. What did you guys think about this movie? Did you agree with me and loved it? Did you think it was okay in the middle, or did you hate this? Thank you guys as always for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.